Hey there, CSS friends! Welcome to Sante CSS, where I, Julia Miyatsan, create CSS art and animations. Today, I'm gonna create a recursive square animation. So, grab a cup of coffee, sit back, and let's get started! This is some keyframes of the animation that I'm gonna create. This is a square that's gonna create a square shape with equal squares, <laughs> if it does make any sense. And uh, they're gonna change their opacity, their sizes, and uh, their border size. And I'm gonna need 16 of uh, these squares. So let's create a wrapper first. And uh, inside of this wrapper, I'm gonna have 16 squares. Okay, I have 16 squares. Cool. Uh, let's write some styles for them. We have proper and we have um, square. Uh, let's see uh, where's our square. Uh, let's set up uh, some random size and, and random background. We have all of our squares here. Uh, now we need to create a um, square shape with them. And uh, for this purpose, we need to use uh, something on our wrapper. First of all, let's uh, position it in the center of our screen. Okay, now it is in the center, but to create a square shape, we need to um, set up some sizes of uh, this shape. Let's also set up some random background color just to see how it works. Uh, for this size, I'm gonna use uh, min, min function because I want my square to be always in the center of the screen and always fit the size of the window. And I'm gonna have uh, window sizes here just again because I want to fit uh, all the screens and the uh, same I'm gonna use for the height same for the height uh, okay we see our wrapper and we need to create a square shape with all the squares that we have um, for this purpose I need to use something here um, for example flex or grid display. I need to have a hole in the center and I can create it uh, without any extra elements with a uh, flex box. So I, I'm going to use um, grid here. Um, so it's a display grid and uh, I need to create a um, uh, matrix here with uh, five columns and uh, five rows. All the styles will be equal, so I can use repeat. And same for the rows, works, but our square is too big for these styles. And uh, I'm gonna use 100% here and uh, fill in this square. Uh, we can remove this background color, we don't need this anymore. But we need to place all the squares in a square shape. Right now it's a mess. And uh, to create this hole in between, uh, we should use um, grid areas. And uh, I have 16 elements. I don't have names for all of these 16 elements. So I'm gonna use um, an alphabet here and uh, I can <laughs> easily mess up. I'm not sure if I uh, really know the alphabet. So I'm sorry if I uh, screwed it, but I'm gonna try my best. Um, I guess it's I, J, K, um, L, Dots for the hole in between. And uh, our top elements, last elements. 
Uh, okay, and uh, now we need to uh, set names for our squares because right now they have no names. And uh, I'm gonna use some inline styles to set up some variables. First is area. And uh, I hope I remember all the letters. I have all of my um, names. Now I need to place these squares. Yes, works. Uh, my squares uh, shouldn't have any background color. They have only uh, borders, strokes. And I'm gonna use a box shadow, inner box shadow for this. And uh, same here, because I want my, um, my squares to look always good. I'm gonna use a uh, min function and uh, uh, viewport sizes. Um, okay, these are all of our 16, 16 squares, and I need to animate them. Uh, as you remember, we need, to uh, we need to create a few different animations. We need to change opacity of uh, each of these squares. We need to change their box shadows or strokes, and also we need to change the size of the whole picture. Um, so let's, let's, let's do this. Um, let's start with the... Uh, with the uh, box shadow. to have a from size I need to change uh, I need to set up only two size and uh, I need to fill this square completely yep this is fine uh, next animation that I need to create is by city. And I need to create a lot of different keyframes because I need to show all the squares one by one. And uh, for this purpose, I need to um, calculate a bit. And uh, I like to use um, Google Sheets because it's kind of convenient. Uh, I divide 100%, uh, uh, this is the length of our animation, by 15. 15 because we already have a zero state, we don't need another keyframe there. And uh, here I just um, write things. These are my keyframes. And I'm gonna use um, not a trick, it just how CSS works. Uh, opacity uh, doesn't have um, any opacity more than one and less than zero. Um, all the numbers less than zero gonna be equal to zero and all the numbers more than one gonna be equal one to one. And uh, I'm gonna use this, not, not a trick, but kind of trick here. I'm gonna go to um, Google Sheets again and uh, I'm gonna use it uh, to not writing down all the numbers that I have. We have 16, 16 squares, so I'm gonna need 16 um, numbers. And we have also 16 keyframes. Uh, I'm gonna paste it here, and I'm gonna um, use index number of each square. We don't have this variable yet, we're gonna set it up um, 
a bit later. Um, but look at this. Um, I want to explain you how it should work, I hope. Um, for example, if we have uh, our first square, it has index number of um, 0. And uh, when we have 1 minus 0, we have 1. So this square, the first one, will be visible for all of these uh, keyframes. But if you have, for example, 8 um, square, uh, it's not going to be visible for the first 7 um, keyframes, uh, because we have 1 minus 8, it's minus 7, 2 minus 8, it's uh, minus 6, and all of these numbers going to be equal 0, so we're not going to see our square yet, but after the 6 um, keyframe, we're going to see our square, and uh, same works for all the other uh, squares. Let's define another variable here for our index. And uh, I'm going to start with 0. Oh, you already see how it works. We have um, all the squares and they appear in one by one just because we have this opacity trick. Uh, next thing that we need to do is um, changing the size of the whole scene. Uh, we need to create another animation, which is, I know, scale animation. Also 6 uh, seconds, linear, infinite, and uh, it should go from big scene because we're gonna because we need to see one square one big square in the center at the start of the animation and we need to see um, the square created out of squares at the end and both of these states should have the same size so uh, we start with the big number for example five i don't know we'll see how it works two one but i don't like this effect. I don't want it to change size this way. Uh, I want it to always be in the center and the rest of uh, the square should join this original square and create a new one. And uh, for this purpose, I'm going to use transform origin property, which sets um, an anchor point, the point where any animation any transformation will start. And this should be somewhere in the top center. Yep, just like this. So we always have. Yep, it's always it's it's almost perfect. Um, let's see uh, why it's not perfect yet. Um, you see the last keyframe and the first keyframe. They have different different strokes of the square. Uh, it means we need to change our um, box shadow. Let's set up seven. Mm -hmm. We need to make it even bigger. Uh, let's try eight. Yep, see, it's it's equal, and uh, it looks perfect. Let's see the final. I hope it's the final iteration of our animation. Yes. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a like, drop a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. Bye.